Hey kids, welcome to unit one, lesson seven, writing methods, exercise number one. Kids, I say this a lot, but this is another very important lesson in Java. Today, we're going to write our own method, the turn right. Before I get too much into it, let's look at the instructions and kind of talk and walk through this together. After the constructor, write the method signature for the turn right method. Inside the turn right method, write the code to make a painter plus object turn right. All right, that doesn't sound too bad. Over here, we have our code from the previous couple of lessons. We have our painter plus object we created here and our painter plus subclass over here. And remember, Painter Plus is a subclass of the Painter class. If you think back to some previous lessons, you remember we went through the documentation and we looked at all of the things that this Painter class can do. And turning right was not one of them. What that really means is our Painter Plus class is going to have that new turn right method. So it's gonna be able to do everything Painter can do, but it's gonna be new and fancy and gonna be able to do this turn right method. How do we write a method? Well, there's a lot of parts to it and there's a couple different kinds of methods we're really gonna write. And the one we're gonna talk about today, which is a void function, and the next is going to be a value returning function. A void function, that really just executes whatever's in the statement it contains and then it stops. A value returning function, well, that executes the statement it contains and then returns a value back to the statement that it called to. Maybe it's running a mathematical formula, a number, sorting something, whatever. It's getting called back, so it's doing something continuously. A void function is pretty easy to write. If we look the anatomy of this is pretty similar to what we've been talking about. We are going to write a, another signature, which is our top line. This is going to be called a method signature. So we've talked a little bit about met method signatures before. Remember that public static void part that we had here? Well, that's a method because it's doing something down here. We're going to create our own method here that's going to do something as well. So it's going to have the same things. We're going to write it public because we want other methods to access it. We're going to use this word void because again, void, we just want it to execute whatever happens in there and then that's it. And then we got to name whatever that method is. And the same thing applies for how we've named our other variables. We're going to put parentheses after it, just like our painter plus here. It's very similar to the anatomy, what we have in our constructor for public painter plus. Remember, we need our parentheses, curly cues, no semicolons for this. So that doesn't sound too bad. Again, if we go through the code.org, you can see these methods are written for everything else. We're simply just adding a new one that we can access in this specific subclass. In Painter Plus, where do we want to put this? Well, we want it to be part of this public class Painter Plus, right? We want it to be part of that big one. And if we highlight this little curly cue, we can see it's right there. This little curly cue deals with this one in here. And this, let's just clean this up a little more. This will be easier to see. What we want to do now is put it within this larger subclass we created. That means this larger subclass is going to have access to anything that we type within here. What are we going to type? Again, we're going to put public because we want it to access. Void because we just want it to run and terminate. And what is our method going to be? Well, we want our object to be able to turn right. That's the name of it. Just how we're going to name the variable, just how we called everything else. Again, we're going to put some curly cues here. 
Well, previously, what we've done is turn left three times. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just turn left three times. But instead of writing it three times, we'll just have to call it once and turn right. Turn left and then turn left and then turn left again. That means anytime I call this turn right method, my little sprite over here, and just for my correction, I just learned they just released the slides for the curriculum that this is actually, this young lady is a painter. I thought it was Waluigi. I apologize. I will correct it moving forward. That means our little sprite will turn left three times anytime turn right is called. I think that's all we have to do for this lesson. I think we're actually going to write it moving next. Let's just go ahead and hit run. Just make sure that it actually works. It compiled with no errors. So I think this is written correctly. Really the key takeaway from this lesson is how to write a method. Again, this little picture here is going to be very important. We're going to start off with our public constructor. We're going to use void because remember void is just going to run whatever's in that statement and then terminate. And that's important for right now. We're going to talk about those other return value methods later, but for right now, void just going to run whatever's in there. Next, we need to give our variable name. Do not forget the parentheses after it. Then we're going to do our curly cues and then whatever we want to have happen inside there. Hopefully this video helped you write your first method. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye. Bye.